A lot of people considering Iowa don't necessarily understand the landscape of Iowa. The media portrays Iowa as a flyover state that only has cornfields. Iowa does have tons of cornfields, but the media fails to mention the beautiful rolling hills throughout the state and many rivers that border it from east all the way to west while also cutting through much of the state. In this video, we're going to go over each and every river and why they are so special. So stay tuned as we're going to get right to the rivers here in Iowa. Before we get to the list, I want to mention Iowa has several more smaller rivers, creeks, and streams that won't be mentioned on this list that are also very special. If this video goes well, we could also cover some of the smaller rivers or streams as well in another video. Leave a comment below and push that like button if you'd like another video going into more detail on the smaller rivers, creeks, streams in Iowa. Heck, also make sure to subscribe and tap that bell while you're at it. We're gonna cover the major rivers in Iowa, starting on the western part of the state, moving eastward, so make sure to stick around. But I want to start with the Little Sioux River. The Little Sioux River, a waterway of significance in the state of Iowa, originates in southwestern Minnesota and meanders through the northwest corner of Iowa, eventually joining the Missouri River. Its course takes it through a diverse landscapes, including rolling hills, woodlands, and agricultural fields. This river plays a crucial role in the hydrology of the region, providing essential drainage and supporting local ecosystems. The Little Sioux River is renowned for its clear waters, making it a popular destination for anglers seeking a variety of fish species. Fishermen can cast their lines in search of smallmouth bass, channel catfish, walleye, and northern pike creating a diverse and rewarding fishing experience. The river also boasts picturesque surroundings attracting outdoor enthusiasts and nature lovers. Beyond its recreational value, the Little Sioux River holds historical importance as it was a vital resource for early settlers and played a role in the development of communities along its banks. Today, it remains a symbol of Iowa's natural heritage, showcasing the state's commitment to preserving its rivers for both ecological and recreational purposes. Next up is the Big Sioux River, a prominent watercourse defining part of the western border with South Dakota before eventually joining the Missouri River. Originating in eastern South Dakota, the river enters Iowa near the town of Akron and continues its course throughout the northwestern corner of the state. Known for its role in shaping the region's geography, the Big Sioux River is a vital tributary of the Missouri River system. Anglers are drawn to its waters, seeking a variety of fish species such as channel catfish, flathead catfish, walleye, northern pike, and smallmouth bass. The river's ecosystem provides a habitat for a diverse aquatic life, contributing to the rich biodiversity of the area. Apart from its ecological significance, the Big Sioux River has historical importance, having served as a transportation route for Native American tribes and early European settlers. Today, it stands as a symbol of Iowa's commitment to preserving its natural resources, offering not only recreational opportunities, but also a connection to the state's past and the ongoing importance of waterways in shaping its cultural and environmental landscape. Now to round out the western part of the state, we have to mention this river, the Missouri River, one of the longest rivers in North America. Significantly contributes to the geographical and historical tapestry of Iowa. It forms the western border of the state spanning over 300 miles and serving as a crucial water course for both ecological and human purposes. The Missouri River is renowned for its diverse fish population tracking anglers in search of species such as catfish, paddlefish, and various types of bass. Its location in the western Iowa provides vital water resources for agriculture and supports the state's economy. The river played a pivotal role in the westward expansion of the United States, serving as a primary transportation route during the 19th century. Today, it continues to be of strategic importance for trade and commerce. Additionally, the Missouri River offers a range of recreational activities, including boating, fishing, and wildlife observation. Its presence in Iowa is not only a testament to the state's rich natural heritage, but also a reminder of the historical and economic significance of this mighty waterway in shaping the identity 
and development of Iowa in the broader Midwest. I want to step up here and mention that these rivers can all flood and you should know the risk if you plan on possibly moving to the state of Iowa. That is where we come in with the Living in Iowa team. Let us guide you through details such as flooding and much more. Shoot us a text, give us a call, or send us an email. We love helping people just like you move with as few problems as possible to beautiful Iowa. Next up holds the state record walleye that weighed in at 14 pounds, eight ounces. And that is the Des Moines River, a vital water course in Iowa. Flows through the central and southern parts of the state, weaving a course that impacts both the landscape and the lives of inhabitants. Originating in the northwestern part of Iowa near this town of Esterville, the river travels southward, eventually merging with the Mississippi River. The Des Moines River holds a special place in Iowa's natural heritage, serving as a source of water for agriculture and industry. It has been a significant transportation route historically, contributing to the growth of the communities along its banks. The river has a habitat for a diverse fish species, attracting anglers seeking walleye, catfish, smallmouth bass, and northern pike. Beyond its utilitarian roles, the Des Moines River is cherished for its scenic beauty, offering recreation opportunities such as boating, fishing, and hiking. The Sailorville Reservoir, which is created by the Sailorville Dam on the Des Moines River, further enhances the river's significance, providing flood control, water storage, and a picturesque backdrop for the outdoor activities. This river not only exemplifies the interconnectedness of Iowa's ecosystem, but also stands as a testament to the state's commitment to balancing environmental conservation with human needs. Next is the Skunk River. Coursing through the heart of Iowa is a waterway of both ecological and cultural significance. Originating near the town of Clear Lake, the river flows southward, passing through Ames and ultimately joining the Mississippi River. Its location in central Iowa renders it a vital tributary, influencing the region's landscape and supporting diverse ecosystems. The Skunk River serves as a thriving habitat for various fish species, including catfish, carp, smallmouth bass, and northern pike, attracting anglers seeking a diverse fishing experience. Beyond its recreational appeal, the river has historical importance, having played a role in the development of communities along its course. The Skunk River Green Belt, a scenic area along the river, offers opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking, bird watching, and canoeing, making it a cherished natural resource for residents and visitors alike. The Skunk River contributes to Iowa's rich tapestry, symbolizing the delicate balance between human activities, and the preservation of the state's natural beauty. Let's keep going with the Iowa River, a defining waterway in the state meanders through the central region, leaving an indelible mark on Iowa's landscape and history. Originating in the north central part of the state near the town of Crystal Lake, the river flows southward, eventually joining the Mississippi River. Its course takes it through cities like Iowa City, Coralville, making it a significant component of the state's topography. The Iowa River is celebrated for its diverse fish population, attracting anglers in pursuit of catfish, walleye, smallmouth bass, and northern pike. The river's ecosystem supports a variety of aquatic life, contributing to the overall biodiversity of the region. Beyond its ecological importance, the Iowa River holds historical significance, having played a role in the settlement and development of communities in its vicinity. The river's scenic beauty and recreation opportunities, including boating and fishing, make it a beloved natural resource for residents. Additionally, the Iowa River has been harnessed for hydroelectric power generation, showcasing its multifaceted role in the state's infrastructure and economy. It stands as a symbol of Iowa's commitment to environmental preservation and responsible resource management. Here is a river I know well, and if you'd like to know fishing around this river, let me know, and that is the Cedar River. A defining watercourse in Iowa flows through the eastern part of the state, leaving an indelible mark on Iowa's geography and culture. Originating in Dodge County, Minnesota, the river travels southward passing through northern and eastern part of Iowa before joining the Iowa River near Columbus Junction, Iowa. It weaves through cities such as 
Austin, Minnesota, Charles City, Iowa, Waterloo, Cedar Falls, and Cedar Rapids offering both urban and rural landscapes along its course. The Cedar River is renowned for its diverse fish population, tracking anglers in pursuit of smallmouth bass, catfish, northern pike, and walleye. Its scenic surroundings contribute to the river's appeal, making it a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts. The river has played a historical role in the state's development, supporting early settlements and industries. The Cedar River's significance is further underscored by the existence of dams such as the Sweets Marsh Dam and the Palisades Kepler State Park Dam, which provide recreational opportunities and flood control. Beyond its utilitarian aspects, the Cedar River is a symbol of Iowa's commitment to environmental stewardship and the preservation of natural resources for future generations. Fun story for you. When I lived in Cedar Falls, Iowa for a short time, I caught my biggest walleye ever at around 10 pounds on the Cedar River in Cedar Falls, and it measured nearly 31 inches. I grew up in a small town in Iowa called Anamosa, which this river next flows through it, the Wapsipinicon River affectionately known as the Wapsie, weaves its way through the eastern part of the Iowa, contributing to the state's natural beauty and cultural heritage. Originating near the town of Riceville, the Wapsipinicon River flows southeast, passing through communities like Independence and Anamosa before eventually dumping into the Mississippi River. This river is renowned for its scenic beauty and tranquility, making it a favorite among nature enthusiasts and anglers alike. The Wachipinkin River supports a diverse fish population including smallmouth bass, channel catfish, northern pike, and walleye, providing a rich environment for fishing enthusiasts. Its picturesque surroundings create a soothing setting for recreational activities such as canoeing, kayaking, and bird watching. The river also holds historical significance as it played a role in the development of early settlements in the region. The Wapsipinicon River is special to Iowa, not only for its ecological importance, but also for the sense of connection it fosters between people of Iowa and their natural environment. Its meandering course and the diverse ecosystems it supports make the Wapsipinicon River a cherished and vital part of the state's landscape. Next up is the Makokota River. A picturesque waterway flows through the northeastern part of Iowa, adding to the state's natural lure. Originating near Fayette, the river meanders southeast, passing through towns like Manchester and Makokota before joining the Mississippi River. This river is cherished for its scenic landscapes featuring limestone bluffs, wooded areas, and rolling hills. The Makokota River supports a diverse aquatic ecosystem, making it a haven for anglers seeking a variety of fish, including smallmouth bass, catfish, northern pike, and walleye. The river's clear waters and surrounding natural beauty make it a popular destination for outdoor activities such as kayaking, canoeing, and bird watching. Moreover, the Makokota Cave State Park, located along the river, adds to its significance as it houses unique cave formations and provides a habitat for bats. The Makokota River is special to Iowa as it not only offers recreational opportunities, but also showcases the state's commitment to preserving its natural heritage. Its role in shaping the landscapes of northeastern Iowa and providing a habitat for diverse flora and fauna contribute to its importance in the state's ecological and cultural tapestry. We have two rivers left to cover with the biggest at the end. I'm sure you know the river as it isn't a secret at all. Before we get to that, if you like this video and are interested in more things to do in Iowa, I did a video covering the top 10 places you need to see in Iowa before you die. It is linked above. Make sure you to check that out before we finish this list. Second to last river is the Turkey River, a scenic water course flows through the northeastern region of Iowa, leaving an indelible mark in the state's landscape and cultural heritage. Originating near Cresco, the river flows southeastern, passing through towns such as Elkader and Garber before eventually flowing into the Mississippi River. The Turkey River is distinguished by its surrounding bluffs and valleys, creating a picturesque setting. Anglers are drawn to its banks in search of various fish species, including smallmouth bass, catfish, northern pike, and walleye. 
the river's diverse ecosystem contributes to its popularity among nature enthusiasts, offering opportunities for kayaking, canoeing, and bird watching. The Turkey River Valley, characterized by fertile farmlands and charming communities, enhances the river's scenic beauty. Historically, the Turkey River played a vital role in the development of settlements in the area. Today, it stands as a testament to Iowa's commitment to environmental conservation, providing habitats for wildlife and recreational spaces for its residents. The Turkey River holds a special place in Iowa's identity, symbolizing the state's natural splendor and delicate balance between human activity and ecological preservation. Finally, we get to the biggest river, not only in Iowa, but the entire country and a river I fished many times as a kid in Guttenberg, Iowa. These memories I will always cherish and that is the Mississippi River. A monumental watercourse forms the eastern border of Iowa spanning over 300 miles and leaving an indelible mark on the state's geography and identity. Flowing through cities such as McGregor, Guttenberg, Dubuque, Clinton, Muscatine, and many more, all the way south to Keokuk. The river is a vital part of Iowa's landscape. Renowned for its historical, economic, and ecological significance, the Mississippi River supports a diverse array of fish species, including catfish, northern pike, walleye, sauger, sturgeon, yellow perch, black and white crappie, bluegill, and many other species, making it a haven for anglers. Its watershed provides a central habitat for numerous migratory birds, emphasizing its role in preserving biodiversity. The Mississippi River is a key transportation route, contributing to Iowa's economic development by facilitating trading commerce. Beyond its utilitarian roles, the river is a symbol of natural beauty and resilience, offering recreational opportunities such as boating and bird watching. Additionally, the river played a pivotal role in early exploration and settlement of Iowa, making it an integral part of the state's history. The Mississippi River with its majestic presence and multifaceted contributions is undeniably special to Iowa, embodying the state's rich culture and environmental heritage.